Hello traders and welcome. I'm Tamar Mer, FX Club Ambassador, and this is FX Club Masterclass Series. Today Masterclass is reading the language of candlesticks. There are many aspects to technical analysis whereby a trader is looking to ascertain what a market will do next based on its previous price action and behavior. Every element in technical analysis, for example indicators, is derived from the same component which is price action. Price action in itself can have several ways of representation, such as candlesticks, bar chart, Haken Ashi candles, and even a simple line chart. Learning to read candlesticks can be akin to learning a new language. First, we need to learn the alphabet, then we need to learn what each mark and squiggle represent and how to pronounce it. After that, we start to learn the structure of the language, that is, which letters go together to form certain words, and what are the rules that govern them, like I before E except after C. Once we understand that, we can start learning to read with simple words, and then we develop further to construct detailed sentences. This is not a fast-forward, easy process. It takes time to first learn the alphabet, then remember all the rules, followed by understanding how to read and write without making spelling or grammatical mistakes. Learning candlesticks is very similar. The shape of the candle, the color, their size, are some of the differences and nuances we need to learn to identify. The location of a specific candle within the bigger picture can change the way we read and interpret it, much like I before E except after C. And just like the location of a word within a sentence can change the meaning of the sentence, the location of a set of candles within a trend can change probability and understanding of what might occur next. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say I am looking at a strong uptrend on the daily chart. The latest move had five very big and fully colored green candles, meaning there was a very strong buying momentum for the past five days that pushed the price higher with not many sellers to be seen. On the sixth day, the daily candle may again have tried to go higher, but was finally met with sellers that pushed the price lower and below the opening mark thus printing a bearish rejection candle for the sixth day. In this scenario, and looking at the place this new word is now sitting in this newly formed bullish sentence, a break below the low of the sixth day candle could indicate the beginning of a pullback and point to a moment in time that the sellers are now taking some control. However, as this is a pullback in the context of a strong uptrend, the interpretation of this sentence is that the selling will more likely be short-lived, and more buyers will again step into this market soon. Remember, in the big scheme of things, buyers are still in overall control. In this case, a trend-following trader will not sell the market, but rather wait for the end of the pullback and then we look for a buying opportunity in the direction of the overall trend. Now let's consider the same scenario, however this time we have a very strong downtrend where the market has consistently been sold off and these five strong bullish candles came after the market printed a very deep lower low. In this scenario, the five bullish candle represents the pullback and the release of a strong selling pressure that was there before the pullback began. The same situation happens here too. 
The next daily candle price tried to go higher but was met with sellers that pushed the price lower below the opening mark, printing a bearish rejection candle for the sixth day. In this case, a break of the low of this bearish rejection candle could represent the return of the sellers into the market and a potential attempt by the sellers to make a new lower low could be on the card. And so in this case, a trend following trader was on the sideline while the market was pushing higher, waiting for the sellers to return and take control of this market once again. As we can see from this example, the last six days printed the same daily candles, or in other words, have written the same word. However, it is the location of that word within the sentence or that combination of candles within the bigger picture trend that makes for a very different course of action. Happy trading!